god, this stuff is getting too good, guys. Video is getting too crazy. Look at this. <laughs> so this is all from one image that I took right here. And then I slapped it into this, this new all-in-one agent platform for video and image generation called polo.ai. <laughs> And it created this ridiculous dancing video. Um, in today's video, I'm going to go through this whole platform and uh, and show you all of the crazy stuff that it can do. Image to video, text to video, AI avatars, motion, consistency, video to video. I mean, animation on and on and on and on. I've been testing, been playing. And uh, this is one of the best things about these platforms is you can just have access to everything all in one with all of the different video models and image models. Instead of, you know, going to Google and paying for just VO3, here you get Polo, WAN, Kling, Pigverse, VO, Mid Journey, Runway, Kling, and all of the rest and anything new that's coming, you get access to it all in one. It's a fun platform. Same thing for text and avatars and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, check out some of these. These things are getting ridiculous and just having way too much fun. <laughs> Me and space enjoying a nice space taco. So uh, yeah, let's jump into it and have some fun with this. But what's cool about this platform that I found is you, the ability to actually have all of the feature sets that you would have in like a dedicated platform specific to them. So if you go to Kling, you're just using Kling. But with these tools that are popping off now, you're able to do everything all in one. So for example, if I'm going to make a video using Kling, boom, I just upload it and do it. And then same with one right now, which we're going to be testing. So I, I just did one really quick. I want to actually show you this video. What up? Want to build your very own profitable AI app? I got something for you. The 21 day AI bootcamp is launching on August 17th. Yeah, peep this out. So I made I made a couple of really funny images. <laughs> let's go with the dreads. You know, the dreads is crazy. All right, let's go TikTok style. No, you know what? Let's go widescreen. Okay, we got our image. And then for the prompt, let's do something really funny. We're going to put that prompt in there. So now we have that. Then we have advanced settings. If you want, you know what to play with. And you can see this is only going to take 10 credits, which is pretty wild. So let's go to two outputs. Then we're going to go create. And now we got our space guy getting created. So while that's cooking up, let's do a text to video also. So now we can go in again, select a different one. So we got Google video three fast. You got Google video three. So there's two versions now, the VO three that just launched. So let's do a quick one. I actually haven't tried this. And then let's do the same thing. Let's just go with the prompt space guy and let's see what it actually creates. And then we're going to generate audio. Let's do a 720p and then let's do one output since we're using VO3. And um, the the pricing is actually super affordable. So I just loaded up on 20,000 credits, but you guys could see right here, if you just go to the basic plan, which is 800 credits, it's only 30 bucks. And then if you do a yearly plan, it actually drops it to only $15. And for 800 credits, which doesn't seem like a lot, but if you look back to this first example, all it was doing was using 20 credits to do this one. So 20 credits and you get access to 800. So that allows you to make 40 videos for 20 bucks or 15 bucks if you actually de you know get the yearly plan. So it's very, very affordable. Obviously, if you want to use VO3 and all these super expensive ones, it's going to be more money. But in the end, if you're smart, you know how to prompt then you'll be able to get a lot of really good video quality out of these tools without having to use the best of the best. Because that is the trick is you want to be, get good at prompting and then find an average that's not super expensive model. So then we got AI avatars. We're gonna definitely do this. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So let's take another one. Let's go with this. Uh, let's go with this one. I think that's actually pretty dope. So we're gonna go here. Let's crop this guy. All right, so here's our first video. So let's open this bad boy up. No, no, let's just go full screen. Here we go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> That's sick. So a great thing they have is when you're ready to build, you go to create new. Now there's two different modes. So you have easy mode right here where you can just kind of select the different things that you want. And then there's also canvas mode. So let me show you. If you go to create new, we go canvas and then let's do image to video. Now we are inside the canvas mode. And then here we could select our image. Let's do another funny one. Let's go back to this guy. Let's go 16 by nine or nine by 16, sorry. And then right here, we got generate with AI. Tell us about your video. 
continue. And then check this out. So choose a prompt to create your video. A space guy smirks holding a space taco and declares AI is taking galaxies while gesturing as blink. He chuckles, says his rose. So it gives you everything here. So you don't have to go to your external chat GPT like I just did. It's all built into the platform. So now we got that. And then we're going to create. All right, let's take a look at this. It's, it's taking, taking galaxies. galaxies. Yesterday, Yesterday automated my toaster. My toaster. Today, Today, it, it rewrote, rewrote the laws, laws of physics because it, it was bored. And again, I'm showing you models that will only cost you 20 credits, which is dirt cheap. And then you could see the difference if we max it out with more of a VO3 style and you could see the difference. So for most cases, you're not going to need to use VO3. You want to use these lower cost models to actually do it. All right, let's try something else. Let's do um, actually shoot 10 credits. Sorry, I totally misspoke on that. So even cheaper. <laughs> ah, that's too good. Oh my God, he's got two robotic arms. That is hilarious. <laughs> All right, enough staring on my mug. Let's take a look at what some of this stuff that people are actually creating in here with all these different tools. So what's also great is you could actually create similar images just by clicking on it. So here's some AI images, some nice graphics. There's also AI video. Let's take a look at some of these. Oh, look at that B. Damn. So this is using the Halo O2 model. Here's some product video. Wow, that's so clean. That's using WAN 2.2. Oh, I like that a lot, actually. This is cool. Create an image of a robot running through a field with a million bees around it in a futuristic world. Let's go 16 by nine. Let's do four images. Hit create. So now, this is going to generate the first initial image. But what's cool is as soon as these are generated, I'm going to show you what extra features Polo has that's going to allow you to actually have a full working workspace versus just a video or image tool. So we'll wait for this to finish. All right, so peep these cute little robots. We have four of them, right? So let's start with one. Let's go here. But now, as you can see, you can actually click into these images. So this is like a working workspace where you can actually connect things and actually move it along the creative process. So if I right click in here, you could see I could actually download this if I want. But more importantly, I can, for example, image to video. And now you get your modal with your actual video generation. So you can create a storybook here, which is what I recommend always. Don't just start making videos. Make your storyboard of images first exactly how you want them. And we already know we can have consistency with the images. So working inside this workflow will really get your videos to be the best, which if that is your end goal, of course. And also up here, you could see we have in paint, upscale, uncrop, erase, remove background and crop. And then you can brush onto it, add text to it, whatever you want. So it's a full built-in editor like Canva, for example. But let's go to this video. So next, I have our video. I want to do this one 2.2 again. Actually, let's try cling. Let's go cling 2.1. And then I'm going to say this. I want this robot walking through this field, but then I want all the beasts to attack him and rip this robot apart and fly off with all the parts. So now we got professional mode. So I'm going to do higher quality. Let's do five seconds and then let's do one version and hit create. And just like that, we went from our workflow of making images to now having a video. And then you can construct your whole story, your whole film or whatever, whatever project you're working on. You can actually set this up in projects. So this is a great thing that they just added that's going to make things so much better. I'm actually going to be using this for building out products for screenshots. So I'm going to be able to actually create my app screenshots and then bring them in here, set them all up, similar to Figma, similar to Canva, but it's all going to be done inside of Polo. So let's take a look at this video while this loads. And of course, if you guys tried Polo, I do always appreciate it. All the links are below for you guys so you can try it out. And uh, I do like it. You know, I think the fact that it's able to have everything all in one and at a very affordable price where you're not paying for, I mean, we've just right now, we've played with seven or eight different tools, and each one of them is $20, $30, $50, not to mention the expensive ones. And here you have everything all in one, full suite, 
with all of the different features. All right, let's see what this video does. Does. Wow, that is mad dope. Woo -hoo -hoo! Attack of the killer bees. What's great too with the memberships is you guys could start it with a free account. And then also if you do, for example, like check-ins, so you can check in for seven consecutive days and you get 25 credits. So for image generation, that's 13 images a day that you could actually create. And then you can click right here, remind me every day and then you'll get a reminder. So you essentially could just use this for free for most of your creative stuff. But if you got a few bucks to throw at it, have a rip and create some amazing stuff.